we are in Salt Lake City and we are at Salt Lake City Cemetery on a beautiful warm sunny day I came out here I flew out here this morning I'm flying back home tomorrow basically to just do one grave mainly focused on this one grave it inspired me that much I want to thank Jody, one of our Instagram friends, who suggested I do this. I would have probably not seen it, at least for a while. But we are going to go see the grave of a little boy that is inspiring thousands, if not more, people around the world. His name, Matthew Stanford Robison. A handicapped boy that passed away a number of years ago and his father had made a very amazing statue in remembrance and we're going to take a look at it very very inspirational Matthew Stanford Robison was born on September 23rd, 1988, here in Salt Lake City, Utah. He was, he was not expected to live more than a few hours. More than a few hours. He, but he proved everybody wrong, didn't he? He did have a severe disability, a couple while well, he was blind, and he was pretty much paralyzed from the neck down. But that sure didn't stop him. No way. Passed away at 10 years old, but not before he created a lot of happy memories. He did speak a few words. He carried on. He did the best he could. Here is the memorial that his father made for him in his, well, he commissioned it, I, I, I believe. I don't know that he made it. But this is just remarkable. And when I saw the picture that Jody sent me, I just said, I've got to go. I've got to go there. I've got to see this. It is amazing. He's reaching, he's reaching for heaven. Look at that. You don't have to know much of the story when you look at this of what's what's happened basically Matthew's in heaven now and he has no constraints he's playing with the other kids he's playing sports he's doing all the cool things maybe he's playing video games all the all the things that kids do in heaven he's got a lot of friends there you know that because he was a good guy yeah, his father, his father wanted something to have Matthew remembered that he would have no earthly bounds constraining him. And let me tell you, this sure, this sure is hitting the mark. Ernest, his father, if you see this, it's, his legend is going to grow, Matthew. I gotta tell you, I think so. There you can see the inscription, September 23rd, 1988. It's when he was born, February 21st, 1999, when he passed, 10 years old. Some beautiful words back here. In memory of those who walk more closely in the hands of God, 
and who more humbly lift the world, inspiring the hearts of men. With their legacy complete in love, they return home again to God to behold his face and be wholly healed in joy forevermore. That is, is just beautiful. This will last a long time. I'm so glad I came to experience this. They have set up a, a charity in memory of Matthew. It is called the, non, it's a nonprofit organization called Ability Found. They set it up in 1993 to help folks with disabilities, help them buy equipment and other things. It helps those with cerebral palsy, spina bifida, multiple sclerosis, stroke, cancer, and traumatic injuries. And guess what, guys? It sells, they sell replicas of this tombstone, and I'm going to definitely buy one. Definitely buy one. Wow, what an inspiration. I, I'm just gonna, I, I don't have words, any more words. You just have to look at this and come up with your own quiet thoughts. Matthew Stanford Robison, may you rest in peace, buddy. Rest in peace.